Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Is Rwanda Davis still in jail? He reads the latest update on his prison sentence. Rwanda Davis is now a free man after finishing up his prison sentence. Tank has had a wild ride since April. That month, he returned for the most important fight of his career against Ryan Garcia. In a battle between two of the biggest young stars of the sport in Sin City, Davis dominated. The WBA lightweight champion picked up a dominant knockout win over King Rai. Prior to the fight, Davis earned another victory, but in the courtroom. In February, he accepted a plea deal in relation to a 2020 hit and run incident that saw four people, including a pregnant woman, headed to the hospital. Nonetheless, as Gervonta Davis' plea deal was supposed to see him have a 90 day home sentence as well as three years on probation. However, on June 1st, the lightweight champion was found to be in violation of his home arrest and was forced to finish out his sentence behind the bars. However, the Baltimore native is now out of jail. The 29th year old finished up his beat over the weekend and later released a tweet confirming as such. Now, with his brief jail still behind him, he can now look to a return to the ring. Gervonta Davis releases first photo since jail release. Tank is happy to finally be back home based on his social media. The legal saga involving Tank has been a long time. In late 2020, Davis engaged in a hit and run that saw four people head to the hospital. It's worth nothing that this was far from his first legal issue, but appeared to be the most serious. While Davis initially avoided child time with his plea deal, he sadly violated the terms of his house arrest. Later, the lightweight champion had a story stream from his jail cell, where he slammed the judge in his case for being biased. Nonetheless, Gervonta Davis is finally a free man and is happy to put the situation behind him. On his social media, the WBA lightweight title holder released a photo of himself of holding sacks of money. It's safe to say that Davis is happy to be back at home. After all, he didn't get long to celebrate his win over Ryan Garcia in April. Following the victory, Davis was interested in a potential fight with Evan Haney and Shakur Stevenson. However, the champion hasn't discussed any sort of return plans since the end of his legal situation. George Cambosos I really liked Gervonta Davis' fight. George Cambosos Jr. ran from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the totem pole. His vacillations position had nothing to do with his mentality, but more so with the striking of great and horrific performances. Cambosos remembers when everything went perfectly. The youth as a Gargan duo and underdog against Jeffimo Lopez in November of 2021 Cambosos walked into Lopez's backyard and picked up what many considered was an unlikely victory. Devin Haney, however, ruined whatever momentum they had built up, beating him on a back to back accusations. Pissed off and despondent, Cambosos seriously contemplated retirement. That, of course, was short lived. Prepared with full reverence for what a Hugges brings to the table, Cambosos is convinced that he will ultimately take care of business and move on to bigger and better things. There are so many great things out there, said Cambosus. I really like the Gervonta Davis fight. Davis currently won't be fighting anyone in the immediate future. After recently violating the terms of his house arrest, Davis is now forced to spend roughly two months behind the bars. WBA lightweight world champion Gervonta Tank Davis, after leaving prison in his native Baltimore, took to social networks for the first time since May where he left a very concessive message. Recall that on May 5, Davis was sentenced for a car accident in November 2020, in which four people were injured. He caused an incident and fled the scene of the crime without providing assistance to the victims. Since the boxer agreed to a deal with the investigation and pleaded guilty to four traffic violations, he initially avoided jail time. He was given a trifling 90 days of house arrest, 3 years of probation and 200 hours of community service. 
but less than a month later Davies violated the terms of a house arrest warrant, after which he was sent by the court to serve out the rest of his three months sentence in prison. It's doubtful that it disciplined him, but who knows? His coach was convinced that prison was what he needed to come to his sentence. We'll see. Yesterday, July 13, the first photo of an overground Geronti appeared, which an officer takes out of the prison territory. And so, leaving the dangers behind, the American boxing superstar saluted with a corresponding smile face. And that's it. This Saturday night, for the first time in his career, Frank Martin will headline his very own show. Standing across from him on the night is the aforementioned Arudunian, a former Olympic bronze medalist. Frank Martin wants Shakur Stevenson and Gervonta Davis fights. Although the German-born contender does not exactly represent a significant step up in competition, facing him gives Martin an opportunity to show off a bit of his skills. Currently, the lightweight landscape is jam-packed with talented fighters, from top to bottom. Two names, however, that normally protrude towards the top are Shakur Stevens and Andrew Davis. Martin, by and large, is not jealous of the notoriety that they receive. Although his name isn't buzzing quite as loudly as those two when it comes to his heels in the ring. Martin believes he's ready for them both. I feel like I'm ready for Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson, said Martin during a press conference. I'm ready for them. Ironically enough, both Stevenson and Davis are in need of dance partner. Davis, when last seen, permanently glows at the mouth of Ryan Garcia, his longtime rival. With the knockdown in the second round, Davis officially sealed the deal into the seventh, stopping Garcia with the body shot. Shakur Stevenson, on the other hand, was acutely as destructive recently, just a few weeks prior to Davis whipping the floor with Garcia. Stevenson walked through Shuchiro Yoshino, making him lay down officially in the seventh round from the shadows. Martin has not said much of anything, instead he wakes up every day and has the same monotonous and mundane routine. The 28-year-old often spends his mornings in the gym, rests his body in the afternoon, then picks up where he left off later that night, considering the amount of work he is putting. Martin believes that it's now or never. Jerwan D. Davis released from jail in Baltimore. What comes next for boxing star? Davis is out of jail in Baltimore and could be getting set to gear up for his next fight. Tank didn't meet the conditions of his home detention, and on June 1st was ordered to serve the remainder of his home detention in jail. Davis' release should mean he's free and clear to get a fight scheduled, and there are plenty of big ones out there. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.